Mm. Do we need a dedicated Taylor Swift reporter? No! Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, there are Listen to this, some news outlets are now hiring beat reporters to exclusively cover stars like Taylor, also Beyonce, okay, just for the record. There's a writer for The Walrus who argues, though, that this kind of journalism distracts stories, uh, distracts from stories, that is, that people actually need. Um, Rick, is this journalism and is this necessary? We absolutely need a Taylor Swift yeah. reporter. Yeah. We do. Because honestly, honestly, six months ago, she could sit next to me in a restaurant. I wouldn't have known who she is. And I rely, Taylor on Swift? The, I rely on the news for my information. <laughs> so I think we need an old-fashioned guy with a fedora and a cigar, and oh he's covering gosh. Taylor Swift. <laughs> We've always had entertainment reporters. Yes, We yeah. always have. She's yeah. the biggest thing in entertainment. Yeah. So there's going to be people who report on her. Of course. Of course. I don't know what they're going to do when she takes a year off to record her next album, but... She does it while she's on tour, Rick. Yeah. This is no, part of the really? journalism. Yeah. Yeah. How long does she write an album? No, she's been re-releasing her old See, music. This is why we need a This is yeah, Rick yeah. needs the yeah. answer. I'm operating in a vacuum. <laughs> See, I get, I get what you're saying. Vacuum. See, but I'm on the opposite end of things, and I'm a former entertainment reporter, and I don't think we need this because, okay, listen to these stats. 275 million followers on Instagram alone. 114 million albums sold worldwide. She attended one regular season NFL game and the ratings went up to 27 million. This woman doesn't need any extra coverage. Like, she's getting all of the coverage, and I think this actually exacerbates the issue that's in the music industry, where when you're the Rihanna, the Beyonce, and the Taylor, you get all of the coverage. And for all the other artists, like, do you guys know a woman by the name of Victoria Monet? Yes, yes. I do. Right? These are women, these are great talent. And the other one, Canadian, Jessie Jesse Reyes. Reyes. These are women who are talented, wonderful, and deserve just as much coverage, but they're not getting it. So the idea of hiring someone, mm -hmm. specifically just to talk about one, as an entertainment reporter, I think it's your duty to talk about all artists to make sure everybody gets coverage. And I love Taylor Swift, but she doesn't need this. It's like giving Taylor another million dollars. She's good. She's rich. She doesn't exactly need it. What do you it. think, I say yes. Why not? Really? Yeah, because there's a lot of junk out there, too. And it gets to a point where things are blurry. And, and so I want a credible news organization to give me the information. And I can't get enough of her. I'll I tell can't. you, I, I think a lot of people, I do fall into yes. the same camp. The reason why is Taylor is not, and Beyonce, they're not just musical artists. They are entire economies. We have read of things like the Beyonce bump. Whenever she goes into a city, that the amount of spending that happens and the GDP bump that she gives an entire country just being there, yeah. that is not just like, here's her latest album. It is, uh, let's talk about Taylor. She's coming to town here in a year. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about her for a year, yeah. so hold on tight. <laughs> but they say the average Taylor Swift fan spends at least $1,300 for everything from merch to the hotel stays to the eating out at the restaurants. So she's got six sold out shows down the street. Mm -hmm. That's 50,000 people a pop. Mm -hmm. That's 300,000 people who will be in Toronto next November spending millions and millions of dollars. You're not just talking about an artist. You have a you need someone who understands economics, the business implications, and the cultural impact but, but listen, of a Taylor and a Beyoncé. They're those, changing the conversation. Listen, you're right, but yeah. for all of those reasons, BNN will be talking about her, uh, E-Talk will be talking about her. Her, CP24 will be talking about her. <laughs> Do like every sports analyst now has to be up on their Taylor Swift. So does she need a specific person? Yes. You know, there are all these other people. Yes. Like I would like an need expert, it. an expert who knows everything. Really? Can I just shout her. out on our yes. team? Yeah. That expert would be Courtney Young. She runs, she's the half of our social media team. She knows every detail of Taylor Swift's uh, life mm. since album number one. Oh. And you know who I want on that story? I want Courtney yes. on that story. Yes. That's who's gonna give me the goods. Yeah. I know. I'm reluctantly clapping because I love Courtney, but I'm like, we don't need it. Anyway. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.